It has been a while since I recorded anything and I apologize for that. I've been spending all of my time helping people to safeguard their assets from disappearing with the RAND or their local currencies in the countries wherever they are. Those that have taken the trouble to look into what I am using and have taken action have profited from the day they have invested. Not a single person has lost one cent. Okay, I wanted to talk to you about the state of our nation, the white minority nation, right now. Firstly, to those that commented on my last recording and called me a, f a fear monger, saying that I should be locked up for spreading fake information, those that called me a fool and said that what I saw happening in the future would never happen, to those naive individuals, you know who you are. I hope you have been keeping abreast of what has been happening since then, my friends. Let me fill you in on a few details. The increase in positive cases of the COVID-19 virus is happening as we speak and as I predicted, although not quite as rapidly as I had predicted. But winter is around the corner and I'm sure the figures will catch up. The looting that I predicted has started in many centres. One only has to watch the reports coming in on a daily basis. I also have it on good authority that word has been spread in the informal settlements around the country that it is far easier to raid a white household than to raid a supermarket or a liquor store. I also know of one particular settlement where the residents have said that if they, are not, if they have not received food within the next two weeks, and I think we are already one week into that two-week period, they were going to go out and find food elsewhere. Now, we all know what that means, don't we? All this pales in comparison to what I'm going to share with you now. It is now common knowledge, and everyone should know about the incident where a number of poor white households who did not have any food to eat and who had relied on the food from the government's relief schemes, only to be bypassed on two occasions. They then contacted friends and family who collected among themselves and delivered food to all poor white families in the area. I'm sure you all know what happened to these people. In case you don't, let me enlighten you. After the food was delivered, the black masses descended on their house and demanded the food from them. When the lady explained to them that the government had not given them any food, so they got from their friends and family. The masses threatened to kill her and burn down her house. Needless to say, she lost all her food to these black masses. Just a side note. She reported this to some of the white civil defense organizations who promptly collected food and delivered it under guard. There is now a team on standby if these mobs try their shit again. If these events have not changed your mind about the intentions of the government, perhaps the multiple occurrences of the ANC officials stealing the food parcels and handing them out to their own families or selling them to the very people they should be giving them to, or blatantly overlooking every single white household who is in need of food aid, perhaps this will cause a little spark of light to appear in your mind. The government has announced that financial help will only be given to businesses in the tourism industry who are BEE and triple B double E compliant. That basically rules out any white owned business. It is also noteworthy to state that the announcement was also made among statements that the Solidarity Fund will also be used to tra for the transformation of the economy. When challenged by AFRI Forum and Solidarity in the High Court, the government's policy was upheld. This, my friends, is a blatant and public statement by the government that it is their intention to screw you out of everything they can and they are going to use your money to do it. There is no such thing as justice in our courts and there is now no doubt as to what the intentions of the government are towards you, the white minority in South Africa. It has also now been announced that nobody is allowed to give food to anyone unless it has been approved by the government. The government wants total control of the food supply. Have you never heard the quote, control a nation's food supply and you control the nation? The government has openly and publicly stated that the Solidarity Fund will now be used to further the RET or Radical Economic Transformation Program, whose intention it is to eliminate the white minority from the economy and finally from the country by any means they can come up with. What more do you need to realize that there is absolutely no future for you in South Africa under the corrupt communist ANC? The COVID-19 farce is being used by the ANC government to take away the last bit of freedom and wealth you have. It will not stop until you have absolutely nothing left, until you have defaulted on your debt repayments and had everything repossessed. We have ministers like Nkosazana Klamini Zuma, who has been very closely linked to illegal cigarette trade. 
Who do you think benefits from the sale of these illegal cigarettes while the sale of legal cigarettes is banned? Can anyone be so short-sighted to not see what is going on here? Here is my message to the white minority who still have not come to the conclusion that the black communist ANC government has only one aim and that is to grind you down into poverty and eventually to eliminate you altogether. I urge you, please stop looking at your nice house and cars and possessions. You will lose them very soon if you do not wake up. Your money will not help you. That I can promise you. It will actually be used to finance your own demise. I know this was a very short message and not much preparation has gone into it, but it is probably the most important message I have put out there for a long time. I ask that you spread this recording to as many other whites as you can. They have to get the message sooner or later that their very existence is at stake. What could be more important than our existence and the future of our children? Be ready to defend what you have with your life if it comes to it, because it might very well soon. Whether you are a conservative or a liberal, trust me, they couldn't care which you are. Please like and share this video on as many other social media platforms as possible. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do it now by clicking on the big red subscribe button below and to the right of this video. While you are there, click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload new content. If you would like to support my channel, in the description field of this video I have provided ways for both local as well as international viewers to make a contribution. If you would like to make a crypto contribution, in the description I have also provided a Bitcoin as well as a Litecoin wallet address. If you would like to contribute any other crypto, just shoot me an email to the email address in the description and I will supply you with a relevant wallet address. To those amazing people who selflessly do contribute to my channel, I say a huge thank you. You have no idea how grateful I am. Thank you.